The two hardest parts of crafting a TV show are making sure you start it well and making sure you end it well. Which is why the vast majority of shows are at their best in the middle of their run, when they have the strong foundations to keep them afloat without having to worry about definitively tying everything up. Though this is the common trend with most TV shows, even the greats, there are plenty of exceptions. The rarest of which might just be those brilliant lightning in a bottle series that start at their absolute best, then find their quality tumbling downwards with every subsequent season. Such is the case with the following shows, all of which started at their peak and were never as good again. That's not to say all of these shows were unwatchable after their first year, in fact many of them are very far from it, but it certainly wouldn't be a stretch to say that their first season remained unbeaten during their run. So with that in mind then, I'm Ellie with What Culture here with 10 TV shows never better than their first season. Number 10. The Good Place Michael Shaw's inventive philosophical sitcom The Good Place remains one of Netflix's best original shows, running for four seasons of hysterical, heartbreaking drama. As great as it was though, it never topped its first season, which introduces the show's central characters and mysteries without flaw. Incorporating thoughtful drama into an otherwise zany sitcom premise, the first season tracks deceased train wreck Eleanor as she unravels the many secrets lurking around heaven whilst she attempts to become a good person and befriend some fellow Good Place residents. The Good Place's first season is a masterclass of slow burn reveals and elegant character development that dares to ask big questions about morality and what it means to be human. Better still, all of this is capped off by a finale it wouldn't match until its closing hour. The series, for all its observations of humanity and growth, was always a lovable game changer, but the sheer bravery and mysteries of its first season would remain unbeaten throughout its run. Number 9. Heroes It's hard to think of a show that suffered such a brutal quality decline as NBC's big budget drama Heroes, which features a first season of expertly crafted mystery and action that completely overshadows everything else the inconsistent series had to offer down the line. Introducing audiences to an ordinary world inhabited by people inexplicably granted superhuman abilities, Heroes' 23-episode debut adopts an intelligently multi-layered narrative reminiscent of the recent hit Lost, blending together dozens of characters into one big engaging mystery. With its first season, a brisk pace and endearing characters made Heroes a hit destined for bigger things. Only future instalments were forever derailed by the 2007 writer's strike and the showrunner's decision to slow things down going forward. The baffling move to betray Heroes' first season pace led to all kinds of issues, giving characters poor send-offs, revealing answers to big questions with little care, and alienating an already impatient fanbase. Heroes never recovered, and so its first season honestly remains the only one worth watching. Number 8. Westworld HBO's once promising sci-fi drama Westworld, based on the 1970 movie of the same name, proved able to live up to the hype with its first season, crafting a tantalising mystery around some sublime world-building and complex characters. With a committed cast, stunning visuals and intriguing horrors, Westworld's first season seemed to have all the makings of an all-time great show. But following its debut, its flaws became more clear and harder to overlook, leaving it an incomprehensible shell of its former self. Burdened by overused flashbacks, inconsistent and overstuffed worldbuilding, and poorly developed characters, despite the cast still giving it their all, Westworld falls apart around the midpoint of season 2 and has yet to start digging itself out of its hole. In another life, with some more consistent writing and a better plan, Westworld could have made it as one of the decade's best shows, but now there's no way it'll reach the highs of its debut again, dooming it as another could have been of the small screen. Number 7. Prison Break You've got to give Prison Break credit, its premise is brilliant. The tale of two brothers incarcerated in the same prison, one for murder, the other choosing to be there to break his brother out. The show had a seriously exciting first season, forever overshadowed by its four sequels. The kind of long-running series that would have fared better as a miniseries, Prison Break gripped audiences with its thrilling, balmy setup, but after its successful first year, it realised it had nowhere else to go. 
spending the next four years and an ill-advised miniseries revival 12 years later, running around in circles boring audiences with the same bait-and-switch plot twist, Prison Break never came even remotely close to matching the entertaining silliness and action of its first season. Airing at a time when audience demand was high for exhilarating big-budget dramas on the small screen, think like Lost, it's easy to see why the series ran for as long as it did, but time has made it clear it would have been better had it not made it past chapter 1. Number 6. Californication Californication had a lot going for it, including X-Files star David Duchovny in the lead role, but it never came together as the hit it could have been. In fact, the closest it came to being a good show was during its first year, which now watches like the promising foundation to a future never realised. Duchovny stars as Hank Moody, an alcoholic, womanising novelist struck by writer's block, who fumbles his way through life while trying to maintain a relationship with his precocious preteen daughter. It sounds solid enough, and the brisk pace of the drama and Duchovny's charismatic performance at least sell it in its best moments, but it never becomes anything more than a raunchy comedy complete with casual sexism and underdeveloped, unlikable characters. That being said, the foundation for greatness is very much there, especially where Hank's family drama is concerned. But as the seasons wore on, the show seemed more interested in shock value rather than compelling storytelling. There's a brilliant show in there, but it's buried after a first season bursting with potential. Number 5. Scrubs it's hard not to be taken in by Scrubs, the medical sitcom that felt as silly and light-hearted as it did real and heartbreaking. But it's also hard to argue that it never reached the high quality of its first season again during its nine-season run. Taking place in the fictional hospital Sacred Heart, the series follows a group of young, fish-out-of-water interns, including Zach Braff's daydreaming narrator JD, who are forced to adapt to the fast-paced world of modern medicine whilst juggling their turbulent personal lives. The way the first season is constructed, allowing JD to lay down pearls of wisdom based on his latest troubles, is brilliantly balanced between comedy and drama that the rest of the show just isn't able to match. It's thoughtful but also uplifting and endearingly weird. As the series went on, always standing tall as a great sitcom year after year, it lost some of its balance, becoming increasingly silly and surreal in later years. It was never bad, save for the ill-fated ninth season, but its themes, characters and narration were never better than its first year. Number 4. Homeland Rarely has a show set up such a devastatingly perfect premise as Homeland, which follows CIA analyst Carrie Matheson as she races to figure out whether rescued prisoner of war Nicholas Brody has been compromised by a nefarious terror cell or if he's still one of the good guys. The first season finds the show's central mystery at its most exhilarating and fresh, as Carrie fights personal heartache whilst becoming increasingly entangled in Brody's post-conflict life. It proposes numerous mysteries and offers up shock reveals worthy of the build-up. Though the show was never bad during its eight-season run, the subtlety of its first season's character development and gripping thrills proved to be too good to best going forward. Seasons two and three come close at times, but never quite match it as the series becomes slightly too bloated by its own melodrama. Homeland, thanks in large part to stars Claire Danes, Mandy Patinkin and Damian Lewis, is a show well worth checking out. But don't expect it all to blow you away like its first 12 episodes do. Number 3. Deadwood Whilst there can be no doubt Deadwood is one of the greatest and most influential dramas ever made, it is also not controversial to say it peaked with its first season, which introduces audiences to David Milch's profane western, with an equal helping of exquisite world building, mighty historical detail and rich characters. Quick to warn audiences it won't be a pleasant ride, Deadwood opens with a brutal hanging and goes increasingly uphill from there, throwing short-tempered but virtuous lawman Seth Bullock into to a world of dirty saloons, corruption, dangerous outlaws and murder. Deadwood's first season is all about growth, as the eponymous camp grows into a community despite the violence and horrors that threatens its continued existence. The execution of this development is impossible to fault, balancing its expansive cast with profundity and unsettling grit. The second and third seasons of the drama are both astounding achievements in their own right, rife with expert character development and tragedy, but they lack the overall consistency and freshness of Deadwood's debut. 
Number 2. True Detective Originally envisioned as a mini-series, True Detective was turned into an anthology after the success of its first year. But three seasons in, it has never been able to capture the magic of its searing debut. Starring Matthew McConaughey and Woody Harlson as two haunted detectives thrust into a grisly murder mystery, True Detective's first season worked as both a bracing crime drama and a tragically twisted character study of two remarkably different men forever changed by their time together. Dark, bleak and acted to perfection by two actors in perhaps the best roles of their careers, the season kickstarted a franchise that has never come close to matching it. The second season, with its heavy melodrama and messy pacing, failed hard, and even in its own right wasn't anything to write home about. The third season came closer to the quality of its first year but still missed by a country mile, unable to recapture the meticulous pacing or compelling characterization of its predecessor. As it stands, True Detective is a show that really should have ended early. Number 1. Lost now, we've mentioned Lost a couple of times during this list, and for good reason. It's the ultimate example of a show that peaked during its first year, and though never outright awful, was never able to reach the highs it set so early in its wonderfully inventive run. Concerning the survivors of doomed Flight 815, who crash land on a mysterious, seemingly magical island, the drama creates a whole world around its intertwined characters through the use of meticulously plotted flashbacks, effective dramatic irony, and an endless supply of tantalising mysteries. The way J.J. Abrams and Damon Lindelof slowly reveal the characters' innermost secrets and the increasingly strange horrors of the island is quite simply a masterclass of storytelling. It's so good, in fact, that the rest of the series fails to match it, and ends up overburdening itself with questions never answered. Lost is worth watching all the way through. To date, it's surely one of the most engaging and unique shows you're ever likely to see. But even so, it doesn't maintain the excellence of its first season. Few shows could, come to think of it. And that concludes our list. We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And while you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe and tap that notification bell. Also, head over to Twitter and follow us there. And I can be found across various social medias just by searching Ellie Littlechild. I've been Ellie with What Culture. I hope you have a magical day and I'll see you real soon.